guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to those of you who are new. My name is Tori and this is At Home with Tori. And today's video is going to be another budgeting video and it is gonna be our last one for the last pay period for October, which will be the 18th through the 31st. So our next pay period will start on November 1st and we will actually have three pay periods again for November. Usually if people get paid bi-weekly, they have two different months out of the year that they get paid three times out of the month. And some people like to look at it as an extra paycheck, which sometimes it kind of ends up that way, but for the most part, it's not really an extra paycheck. So I will show you guys kind of what we do when there is an extra paycheck. Um, and that will be coming up probably the middle, probably the second paycheck for November. I do want to go ahead and kind of apologize because I am just not feeling very well today. I'm, I think I'm fighting off a cold. I'm not really sure if you hear me kind of sniffling or if I sound kind of weird, that's why. Anyway, let's go ahead and get into this budget. So right off the bat, I'm going to go ahead and put our income in and, um, we did get just a slight increase, um, recently from a raise. So that is a little bit more than what we have been doing. Our extra income is actually a lot more right now because I was able to get um, paid from Google AdSense recently. So that went up a little bit more. That's not all this is. There's some other extra side hustle stuff that we do here and there. This is our budgeted amount for the extra income. And I think I might actually have a little bit more because of a sponsored video that I did. But for now, we'll just go ahead and leave this here. And then any extra will go ahead and be put on our actual amount. And then I can put it towards extra debt. So our budgeted income for this pay period is going to be 1811. All right, let's go ahead and get into these bills. And the first one is going to be our tithe and we do 200 a pay period. Our mortgage actually changed a little bit too. If you watch my previous video, which I will link up here, um, or my previous budgeting video anyway, I talked about our mortgage and how I had called because we changed insurances and our insurance or our house insurance ties in with our mortgage. So I asked them if they could do a mortgage review, I think is what they called it, where they looked over everything and they would adjust the payments, which they do once a year automatically, but I wanted to go ahead and try to lower the payment because we're trying to pay off other debt first. So if this can be lower, then we have extra money to put towards other debt. So for this pay period, I'm gonna be putting 429. And then from here on out, I believe 448 maybe? I think is what it is. I'll let you know on the next pay period. But for this one, because we put a little bit extra last pay period, I'm just evening it out so the right amount comes out. Because I put it kind of into a sinking fund in our Capital One 360 account, that way I won't spend the money. <laughs> our car payment is 101. Our gas bill comes out this pay period and that is $34. Our internet is something we are trying to work on. So normally it is $54 a month and this is the month that our special price ended. So it is going up to $75. So we're actually trying to work right now with them to see if they will lower that payment. But for now it's scheduled to be $75. Our life insurance is $33. Gasoline is only $70 because I finally got caught up on our gasoline payment or our credit card that we put it on. And we are going to put $50 in miscellaneous this month. And that total is going to be $9.92. And the difference or leftover amount will be $8.19, which we bring down here to our cash envelopes. So I'm liking the way that I split up our food budget. It seems to be working out pretty well for us. So I'm going to keep it this way as far as splitting up our groceries, eating out and date night. I did already go to the grocery store with some of our money. So I am only going to be putting $169 into our grocery budget for this pay period because I did just use some of that money. Normally it would be 250 a pay period or $500 a month for groceries, but I'm only putting in 169 for this pay period. Eating out is $60. Date night is $40. Our household is going to get $10. And then both of our personals get 15. Our pet envelope is going to get 10. And this is a new one, guys. So we are starting our kids on the Dave Ramsey, I think it's called Financial Peace Junior. And so our kids are gonna start getting a commission is what Dave calls it because he says that 
chores are things that you do to help out around the house. They're like family things that everybody does to pitch in. So he calls them jobs. That way kids get used to the idea of having a job and getting money for it. So yeah, they will be getting a commission or basically getting paid for doing their chores that are not their normal chores, but like extra chores. So I'm going to start putting $20 a pay period for the kids commission. And then we're gonna put an extra $20 into miscellaneous. So that's $70 of miscellaneous that hopefully we won't spend all of this month. Okay, so that total is going to be $359, $460 left over. We're gonna take that $460 up here. Okay, so we did just pay our cell phone bills this month, and if you have not yet watched my Mint Mobile video, make sure that you do that because I go into more detail about why we love Mint Mobile so much and how our phone bill is so cheap. So because we do a once a year prepaid phone, we only put in $22 a pay period. So $44 a month towards our cell phones. I am going to do $12 towards car maintenance. Our house maintenance is going to get $10. Christmas is still going to get 40 because we are so close to Christmas that I need to be putting as much as I can towards Christmas. $10 for our anniversary, 15 for birthdays. Our car insurance gets $53. Subscriptions is only getting $4 this pay period because I'm trying to make the amount equal, which is probably not enough, but that's okay. Uh, vitamins gets 19 again because I'm trying to make the amount equal. And then $20 into clothes slash fun because I spent most of our, I think actually all of our sinking fun on clothes for our kids and Halloween costumes. Our total there is $205 the leftover of 255 and that leftover 255 is going to go towards paying off debt i want to get serious about paying off our debt i really want to get out of debt anybody that's in debt knows how important it is to get out of debt or they should anyway um, and i don't believe that it's a good thing that we're in debt i've talked about this previously so we really are trying to attack it hard and get rid of all of our debt let's move over to our cash envelope breakdown groceries eating out date night, household, my personal, and my husband's does not get put with our cash because he puts his on the debit card into a, like an envelope or however you want to call it, like an electronic envelope through our Capital One 360 account and then miscellaneous. So for groceries, we are going to do 169, eating out gets 60, date night gets 40, Household gets 10, my personal gets 15, pets gets 10, kids commission gets 20, and miscellaneous gets 20. It's 344. I don't want this to be distracting, but at the same time, it's still distracting. <laughs> All right, y'all, I wrote 169, but I'm actually going to erase that. All right, 170, and I'll change it on my budget too. I just miscalculated, so 170, and so it's going to be 345 that we're going to do. Okay, it's going to be 100, three 20s. If y'all been watching my previous videos, you know that I do not get 50s or 10s because my bank says that they don't carry them because they're not in high demand. So, and it will be, so it'll be one, 60, two fives makes 170. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. Um, so 170 and then eating out is going to get 60. So that is three 20s. Date night is going to get two, where is it? Two twenties. Household is going to get two fives, three fives, two fives. This is going to be twenty ones and then four fives. Because I like my miscellaneous to be broken up a little bit better. All right, and then moving on to the third page. I will adjust my budget also, y'all, so you don't have to worry about that. Okay, so we have no tens and no fifties. Oh, I forgot to add all this up, my bad. So it'll be one, eight, 13, and 20. So that'll be $20, 65, so 160, and then 100. Okay, so we need 20 ones. We need 13 fives, which equals 65. We need eight twenties, which equals 160. And we need one 100, which equals 100. And that comes out to 345. 
All right, let me go get, y'all can't even see that, sorry. Let me go get my cash and I will be right back. Okay guys, so if you have not watched my most recent video, which is the review of my Clever Fox planner and my Clever Fox budget book and my Clever Fox cash envelopes, make sure you go check that out right now because I do have a giveaway going on until the end of October. So if you would like to win one of these awesome things, make sure you watch the video so that you can learn how you can be entered. I will have two winners, so make sure that you go watch that video and make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss the announcement video for the winner. Okay guys, so I am starting completely fresh because all of my budget categories were either empty or I used the money to put it towards debt, um, which I am going to be doing from now on. If we have extra money in any of our cash envelopes at the end of the pay period, I am going to put that money towards debt. So let's start fresh with our grocery budget. Our grocery category is going to get 170, so 100, 20, 40, 60, 65, and 170, 20, 40, 60, 65, and 70. I really love these envelopes. I've said it before in my previous video, but I just think they're so great and they're kind of shimmery and they're just, I don't know, I just love them. I think they're so pretty. The next category is going to be our eating out budget, which is going to get $60. So we're just gonna do 20s, 20, 40, and 60. The next one is going to be our date night category and we get $40 for date night, so 20 and 40. Next is going to be our household category, and for the household we are going to put in $10. I did lie a second ago. <laughs> I. If I have anything in my household or my pet envelope, I am going to put it in. I'm going to keep that as kind of like a running total, almost as if it was a sinking fund, just because I don't get, I don't buy household and pet stuff every single pay period. So I do hold on to that money, but I did actually just use both the household and the pet from this last pay period. So it worked out. So our next one is going to be my personal and I get $15. 10 and 15, 5, 10, 15. Next is going to be pets, and that is going to get $10, 5, 10. I am going to take out $20 for the kids commission, which is what these ones should be, but I'm just gonna make sure. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. And I'm gonna keep this in a separate place, but that is going to be our kids commission or kids commission. And then the last category is our miscellaneous category, and that is going to get $10. I'm sorry, $20. <laughs> so 5, 10, 15, and 20. Did want to just show you guys real quick. I haven't filled them out yet, but in order to keep all of this straight, the Clever Fox envelope system does come with these little trackers so that you can write down all of your spending and then these fit inside the envelopes so you can just keep them with each category and keep track kind of like you would um, a checkbook system or something like that but just so you don't lose track of your money they have these little handy they're double-sided um, trackers that you can put down inside your envelopes all right guys that's going to be it for this video i hope you enjoyed it thank you so much for sticking around like i said make sure that you are subscribed to my channel and go check out that video so that you can be entered into my giveaway that will run until the end of October. Make sure that you watch the video so that you know exactly what you need to do to be entered. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure that you leave me some comments down below and make sure that you are subscribed and you hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.